I think this is a very significant step. And let me underscore the following. Uh, President Shumara Castro is visiting China for uh, six days. As it's just been said, she has signed uh, 17 agreements. Uh, she started in Shanghai, uh, where she visited the New Development Bank. And Honduras has expressed interest in joining the New Development Bank, as was known as the BRICS Bank. So again, uh, you know, this is a very significant event. Now, let me also say the following. Honduras is, according to some estimates, uh, the second poorest country in Latin America. Only Haiti is poorer than mm. Honduras. Its per capita income is around $2,700. It is coming out of a very difficult period uh, with very high violence, uh, with uh, the drug trade, uh, you know, taking charge of many aspects of Honduras' life. Uh, so, uh, Shumara Castro, President Shumara Castro has her hands full. So, this step that she is taking in establishing diplomatic relations and visiting uh, China is a major step towards trying to get uh, Honduras out of this uh, very difficult situation it finds itself. And I find it uh, very important. Of course, Honduras is only the latest of a number of Central American countries that in the, the past two years have done this. Mm, right. Since 2017, we have seen Panama, we have seen El Salvador, we have seen uh, Nicaragua, we have seen Dominican Republic in the Caribbean, uh, and now uh, we are seeing Honduras. So this is part of a broader trend in Central America and in the Western Hemisphere, in which these countries are realizing that they uh, are doing the right thing by establishing diplomatic relations with the PRC and opening right. the many trading and investment opportunities that opens.